Today we will be talking about the generalized VCG mechanism proposed by Vijay Krishna and Moti Perry, which is a more sophisticated alternative to the VCG mechanism, which also possesses more desirable properties. It is defined within the framework of a quasi-linear model. Of course, we are looking for a direct revelation mechanism, in which every player reports their type. As with VCG, our goal is to implement the efficient allocation rule, which maximizes the social welfare. We define generalized VCG transfers in two steps. First, we introduce what is called the least charitable type for every player I. This is the type that minimizes the expected welfare of all players under the efficient allocation rule and under the special accounting scheme where player I's utility is measured relative to their outside option. This is not the most intuitive definition, but as we will see, the least charitable type will be the one for whom the individual rationality constraint will be the most binding as compared to all other types of the same player. Now we can define the generalized VCG transfer rule as follows. As you can see, this transfer rule uses Grove's transfers as its base, but selects a different type-independent constant compared to the regular VCG mechanism. One of the terms in this constant is reminiscent of the Clark's term in the VCG transfers, except instead of ignoring player I when selecting the allocation, it assumes that player I is of the least charitable type. We will now state and prove the properties of the generalized VCG mechanism. In quasi-linear settings, the generalized VCG mechanism implements the efficient allocation in dominant strategies, and it is also interim individually rational, which is a new property compared to regular VCG. The proof of incentive compatibility is not required, since we have shown earlier in the course that Grove's transfers implement the efficient allocation in dominant strategies. Since the generalized VCG transfer rule belongs to the class of Grove's transfers, that proof applies. Therefore, the only thing we need to show to prove the statement is that generalized VCG mechanism is interim individually rational. The interim IR constraint for an arbitrary type theta i of an arbitrary player i looks as follows. If we plug in the generalized VCG transfers, we get the following expression. Here the first term is composed of player i's real utility and the growth's transfer, while the remaining terms in the expectation come from the type-independent constant in the GVCG transfer rule. Note that this inequality can be rewritten in terms of function z that we introduced while we were introducing the least charitable type. In particular, function z calculated the expected social welfare given type theta i of player i minus the outside option of this player. However, we know that the least charitable type minimizes function z, because this is exactly how we defined it. Which means that this inequality always holds. Which means that the interim IR constraint for our arbitrary player in their type holds as well. This concludes the proof. We have seen that generalized VCG is able to guarantee interim individual rationality, which is already an improvement relative to the VCG mechanism. However, this is not all. Generalized VCG has another lucrative property, although it only holds in a more restrictive setting, since it relies on payoff equivalence. In this course, we have shown revenue equivalence for the Euclidean setting with independently distributed types, so we will state this property for that setting. Firstly, the three properties we have just demonstrated continue to hold in the Euclidean setting, since it is nested within the quasi-linear setting. However, payoff equivalence allows us to demonstrate an additional property of the generalized VCG mechanism, which is that it yields the highest expected revenue among all mechanisms that implement the efficient allocation in dominant strategies or in Bayes-Nash equilibrium, 
and are indiv interim individually rational. Let us now prove this bold statement. The revenue equivalence theorem for Bayesian incentive compatible mechanisms gives us the envelope representation of expected payoffs, meaning that in any Bayesian incentive compatible mechanism, for any player i and any pair of types of this player, the following holds. This expression says that the difference between the expected utilities that these two players of player i receive only depends on the expected allocation of player i. Note that we can fix one of these two arbitrary types to be the least charitable type. Now let us consider, alongside the generalized VCG mechanism, any other direct revelation mechanism gamma prime that implements the efficient allocation in Bayes-Nash equilibrium and is interim individually rational. We know that in generalized VCG mechanism, the individual rationality constraint is binding for the least charitable type. Therefore, since our candidate mechanism gamma prime is interim individually rational, the expected utility of the least charitable type must be at least as large in this mechanism as it is in the generalized VCG mechanism. But then from the envelope representation, it follows that the same must hold for any other type of player i. Now we can begin remembering how the expected utilities are connected to the expected revenue. The connecting link is the expected transfer that player i pays to the mechanism. Since we already know that the expected utility of any type of player i is higher in mechanism gamma prime than it is in the generalized VCG mechanism, and the two mechanisms have the same allocation rule, it follows that the expected transfer of type theta i of player i is weakly smaller in the candidate mechanism than it is in the GVCG. Taking the expectation over player i's type and taking the sum over all players then yields the result. We see that any other interim individually rational mechanism does indeed collect less in expected revenue than does the generalized VCG mechanism. This implies that if you want to implement the efficient allocation and ensuring player participation is one of your concerns, then generalized VCG is a very appealing mechanism to use.